Hey yo, what is up guys? It's your boy, I'm Peter here bringing you another video today. Today's the 1K Q&A. Everybody rejoice. Um, we got all the questions here. In the background, you're just gonna be seeing some Grand Summoner gameplay. I thought I'll just have that running in the background while I do these questions. Of course, whenever I read the questions, they'll pop up on screen and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, so we got around, I think, 14 questions, I think. So let's answer them. Okay, this is a good question by Miner Axel. Uh, he said, how did you get into Grand Summoners? Did you just get recommended by a friend or just found it and decided to try it so how i got into grand summoners was i was it was late at night i was playing um final fantasy city oprah oninium or however you say that name <laughs> uh i was playing that and i was like hmm you know i kind of want a different game so i went to the app store and i was you know browsing the app store and i was just looking for other games to play and i saw this one game which was grand summoners i looked at like the pictures of it and stuff like that and i was like hmm i'm not really for sure if i would like this game and all that and then i was hearing that people were like oh yeah you know people said that people from uh, ffbe and from the grant or not grand summoner from the brave frontier team uh, helped me or you know made this game as well and i was like like oh you know that's cool and everything i liked ffbe i didn't really care too much for brave frontier though but i was like hey you know i guess i'll try it i looked at some videos too and i was like uh i kind of like how it looks kind of like the combat and all that i was like you know what though i'll still download it and just try it the game just came out so why not so I downloaded it and tried it. I really enjoyed it, and now we're here. I'm still in. I'm still enjoying it a lot, and I thought that it was just a fun game to play. And then I was like, you know, I looked up on um, Reddit and all this other stuff. I was like, you know, there's not really a lot of content creators for this game, and I have a pretty decent sized YouTube channel. At that time, it was around you know 700 subscribers, and I was like, you know, I try to make content on this game and see if people like it or see if people want to or want to watch grand summoners and yeah people definitely wanted to watch it <laughs> so yeah you know now we're here so thanks minor axel for that question moving on from that next question comes from jay gucci Wan. how did you get so many quest so many crystals in grand summoners well they're all free to play crystals you just play the game i don't know why so many people ask me this question right so many people ask me um in comment sections on twitter everything even in the Discord, you have people uh, DMing me and stuff like that, talking about, hey, OP, how'd you get so many crystals? I just save them all up and I just don't spend any. I just play the game and I get the free to play crystals and I haven't spent any money on this game yet. My entire account is still free to play, so, you know, I haven't spent any money. And I guess I'm pretty lucky too because a lot of people say that I have like a ton of God tier units and all that. And I'm just like, well, I mean, I didn't really, it took me like two re-rolls to even get this account to like it was, so, you know, I'm pretty happy with it, um, so yeah, that's how I get all my crystals, and I think you actually said something else, didn't you? Okay, no, you didn't. Here's another question from God Slayer ZX. he said, did you get more views on Grand Summoners or Warframe more? Oh, hold on, wait, did you get more views on Grand Summoners or Warframe, and if you, and if so, do you plan on continuing it for the long run? Well, technically, technically, if we look at it, um, from a channel perspective over a long period of time I would get more views from Warframe than I would with Grand Summoners but personally the whole point to why I even quit Warframe and stopped posting videos on it was because the game was just getting stale to me and it was just getting boring and it's one of those games that's been around for so long I have you know I have a lot of respect for DE and all them for keeping a game running that long but at the same time man like I love Warframe for what it is but I just can't play it all the time anymore and i got really bored and also like the people who was in my comment section and stuff like that with warframe i just didn't like it because a lot of them was just so negative and it just brought a negative vibe into like the comment section i don't want that you know i want like a positive environment around my channel and i was just like well i don't really understand why people are getting mad whenever i'm just posting build videos for warframe and people kind of just did that and I also just didn't enjoy it. I was just posting Warframe so my channel had something to post. In the beginning of posting Warframe, I actually really enjoyed it. But, you know, I just was posting Warframe because I was like, dude, I need something to keep my channel, you know, up and going and not for it to die. So I just posted Warframe because that was the game that I was playing at the current time. And I enjoyed it, but then it got really stale after like the few like what 30 videos that i did after the first 30 i was like yeah dude like i don't know if i can keep posting this because it just got boring and it was just it got to the point to where i was only getting on warframe to record a video and i wasn't getting on warframe to enjoy my time at all so i just didn't really feel like i wanted that 
Um, also, another thing is to you said, uh, do I plan on continuing it for the long run? Well, I can plan on continuing Grand Summoners for as long as I don't get bored of the game. As long as I keep having fun with the game and I enjoy it, I'll keep posting it. But, you know, as soon as it gets boring to me or I just don't like the stuff that they're doing in the game, whatever it may be, you know, that, I think that's the time whenever I call it quits uh, for Grand Summoners. And uh, another thing is, too, I also wanted to ask a lot of people is, um, do you guys want to see, like, other games on the channel? Like, other mobile games? Uh, I'm probably just going to stick it to, like, mobile gacha games. Like, for example, like, Dissidia Oper Inium. I, I, I play that game a lot because um, I'm a big Final Fantasy fan. I play that game a lot. Um, I would say Dokkan, but I don't really like Dokkan anymore. Um, what's another game I play a lot on my phone? Um, I play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links a lot too. Uh, well, I don't play it as much as I used to, but I used to be pretty big in the competitive scene and all that. Like, not like as a name or anything, but I was like really into the competitive, uh, aspect of the game. And I was trying to build like some of the best decks and be like super ridiculous, uh, ridiculously good at a kid's card game. But, uh, shout out to DK. But, yeah, I mean, I have other games that I would like to play and post on the channel, but, you know, for now, I just think Grand Summoners is good enough, but, hey, you know, if you guys would like to see, you know, the Cydia or, um, what is it, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links or anything like that, you know, I would be more than happy to post it on the channel. So, yeah, thanks for the question, Godslayer. Next question comes from the homie Collins Morton. This is one of my best friends in real life. You know, anybody can participate in this, uh, Q&A, so I sent them all something, I was like, hey, you know, if you want to be in my Q&A, you know, uh, just reply to me, and uh, he asked me Mustard to catch up. Um, I don't know why he asked me this, because he already knows this, but I I don't know. <laughs> uh, of course, ketchup. I, I prefer ketchup over mustard. I don't see if how you could ever prefer mustard over ketchup. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. It, it just... I don't know, like, I've always been that type of person to put ketchup, if I can use ketchup with, like, any meal and it won't be disgusting, like, I'll use ketchup, like, people say, okay, tell, tell me, you, you guys can comment this, is it weird or disgusting that I like the puff Cheetos, like, you know, the Cheeto puffs, and I like to eat them with ketchup, people think that is the most disgusting thing ever, dude, like, that, them hoes taste so good, let me just say, whenever you put the ketchup on them and you dip that Cheeto in the ketchup, it tastes delicious, like, I don't understand why people think that is disgusting, but I pretty much use ketchup on everything that I can use ketchup, now, I don't put ketchup on my eggs, I think that's just, I just think that's gross, like, that's just, ugh, but I'm definitely a ketchup guy more than a mustard guy, but yeah, thanks for that, Collins. Next one is from Sleepy Snake, which is Collins' account on a different Twitter. I don't know why he did this. I said you could submit up to two questions, but whatever. Um, who bit Beyonce? The eagle in my logo. I'm a bird. <laughs> Moving on from that, this is a qu uh, from Panda Remick Stri Stress. Is that that's what your name is, Panda Remick Stress? Well, anyway, Panda, this is your question. Uh, this is a question about your thoughts on the Grand Summoners. On Grand Summoners, JP has level 90 units already. They are all farmable to get to luck 100. Finn might be the next one to come out. Do you think that they will just leave him at level 70 or add his harder dungeon to get him to level 90? You see, here's the thing about this, right? Is um I know I don't know a lot about JP about Grand Summoner JP, but I do know you know about the level 90 units and everything. Um, if they do release Finn, I feel like Finn will come out at level 70, and then at a later date, I feel like this is what they're trying to do. Is at a later date they will re-release his event, but they will add like the harder stage to it so you can get him to level 90. I think that's what they're trying to go for with this, and. That's what I think would happen because that's the only reason why to leave units at level nine or at level seventy currently in the game. Like if that's the highest level, um, I definitely think that we'll get the level ninety uh, events and all that like a lot later down the road. I think that's like coming. That's kind of like um, awakenings and stuff like that, like an FFBE, like how they usually give that to them like later down in the road. I think that's what they're trying to, or the Grand Summoners dev team is trying to like follow that path for global. Like you know, release these events and then later on down the road, you know, maybe re-release their banners or something like that. And then on top of that, we, you uh, re-release their event, but you add the harder difficulty to that event so we can get those units level ninety and everything. So yeah, that's what I think about what they're going to do, and my thoughts on just them having level 90 units, you know, that's cool. The game's been out for what, like a year over there already? So I'm okay with that, you know, level 90 is okay. That's, I'm almost positive these events though are going to be extremely, from what people tell me, these events to get uh, these units level 90 are pretty difficult, so 
yeah um i definitely feel like you know they'll leave him at level 70 at first and then they will add, they will definitely add his harder dungeon probably later on down the line or hey you know they may switch it up on us they may just give us our give them give us our oh my goodness give us his level 90 uh dungeon right off the bat but i highly doubt that i highly doubt that so yeah but thanks for the pan thanks for the uh question panda next comes from lotto or cafe luna i don't know how to speak i want to say that's japanese but i could be called racist so that may be chinese i'm not for sure but <laughs> uh what is your thoughts about creating a log chat or some type of guild team battles on grand summoners also what do you think about arena draws it happened to me today okay creating like a guild system or you know what you're talking about or a guild team battles thing i think it would be 10 out of 10 for grand summoners i really feel like they should add something like that um maybe we can like if we want to you know depending on what happens because i'll be completely down for this you know i i will completely stand for this if they want to do this um one thing that we could do is i think on the forums there's a feedback page and we have been told the developers had will look at that stuff so we can maybe like go on the feedback page and maybe if we get like enough uh, likes or something or not i don't know how the forms actually actually run away can you get like likes or star ratings or something like that on the forms i don't remember how uh you can get it but um actually you can but well i think you can reply to stuff yeah so you know if we can go onto the forums and say go to the feedback page and say hey you know it would be cool if you guys add like a guild system or like a clan system because dude that would be that would be lit like a clan system and grand summoners and like having maybe like guild battles or like clan battles where you can like go up against like other teams like pvp wise and all that um not like actual pvp but kind of like how arena is that'd be really cool and I'll be uh, I'll be completely down for that. So maybe we can get on the forums and go to the feedback section of the forums and uh, get something like that going. Because I would be completely down for that. I think it's a ten out. I think it would be amazing. Um, also, you said what do I think about arena draws? Uh, arena draws. Um, I don't think they should happen. But I feel like there's no other way to really stop that. Because I guess the other way would be like just to give. Because I never had this happen, so I don't actually know how the arena draws work. But I think, personally, there's no other way how to, like, actually stop it. Or if you're going to get an arena draw, maybe whoever just has the more unit standing wins. Like, I feel like that should how it be. But if you both have one unit standing in the last bit and the timer runs out, I mean, there's no other way to, like, really, like, give you the win or give them the win. I guess they could be, like, wh whichever team did more damage, I, I guess. Uh, could you give them the win. But, hey, you know, um, arena draws, you know it's whatever i haven't had it happen to me yet um, i'm in masters currently right now so i haven't had that happen to me yet but i didn't even know those could happen but um yeah i don't really have an opinion on them uh, i guess they're kind of sucky whenever you get them but yeah i don't really have an opinion on them. but however the guild or the clan system or whatever i would love to see that in grand summoners um so yeah so I'm just scrolling through this. So Panda actually put up another question. I should have just did this with his earlier, but I didn't see it. So he said, what did you plan on doing? What are you doing right now? Future plans and current goals. God dang, man. You asked me a freaking like, this is like a hit the blunt, like freaking stay woke, stay woke question right here. So what do I plan on doing right now? Um, just having fun and posting videos on grand summoners and just having fun you know and just trying to help out new players more so than ever um just help out new players you know just kind of just do my own thing you know what i mean i would like to you know get to some point in the future to where i can just go do maybe whatever but i mean i have to look at this in like the actual or like the real way grand summoners is probably gonna be around for you know maybe another you know for probably a year maybe two maybe even three you know we could get a third year anniversary grand summoners and that's the case you know that's amazing you know i i want this game to stay alive for as long as possible but i do have to look at it with a you know with realness i guess you could say because i do know this grand summoners won't last forever so currently what i'm just focusing on is just having fun and just um seeing what people really like from me more so because even though i'm at a thousand subscribers on youtube currently like i still don't really know what people like to see from me like people always say you know your informative content and all that is really good and everything and you know i don't really know if people like more so whenever i put like memes and stuff in my content because i try to do that not to be like super uh what is it super like sh no personality to it or anything like that like i don't like content like that i like content that i can enjoy and you know you hear somebody talk and you see how their personality is and all that and you just see how they talk and everything you'd be like oh you know he's probably a cool guy um but yeah current goals have fun just 
keep posting grand summoners and uh try to get to 2k subscribers that would be lit um i would like to get 2k subscribers probably by like the end of well if we're gonna continue it all like how we're doing i would like to get to 2k subscribers by the end of um by the end of july i think that's a good enough goal for my channel at least and how it's been growing i think at the end of, i think by the end of july uh that's my goal currently is trying to get uh another thousand subscribers with before the end of july or actually let's say before the end of june that's more a uh, little bit less time and stuff and i feel like that's we can do that easily but trying to get the 2k would be absolutely lit and uh future plans though apart from that is just i would like to turn this one day into like just a full-time job if i could that'd be really lit but at the same time, you know, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I have other goals apart from just doing YouTube full time. I have, I want to become a game designer. I want to become a music producer. I want to become a lot of stuff. So I have a ton of future goals. Um, if you didn't know, of course, gaming is like one of my biggest passions. But apart from that, the other passion that I really have is music. I love all kinds of music, to be honest. Uh, mostly I've listened to hip hop or rap and R&B and all that. Um, that's, that's the music I usually listen to, but I enjoy all kinds of music, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's kind of my future plans is trying to get to 2K uh, before the end of June. Also, you know, trying to one day make this become a full-time job for me. On top of that as well, you know, if this, because there's all you always gotta have a backup plan so my backup plan is if i can't make this into a full-time job um i'll still probably do this but you know not just as much and i'll become a game designer or a music producer that's my other uh, plans that i have currently for my future so yeah thanks for the question again panda Next thing is from Jesse Smith 1990 Hey OP big fan, my question is do you have any siblings? And if you do, how well do you get along with them? I honestly can't stand my three sisters, keep up the good work. Well, I have three siblings. I have a little brother, a baby brother, and a um, little sister. I'm the oldest out of all of them. Uh, I get along with my little brother, which is, uh, his name is Jay, or I call him, his nickname for me, I've always called him Deuce. So. I get along with him uh, really good. Uh, we play PS4 a lot, so I get along with him uh, really good. However, we don't get along with our little sister at all because our little sister is just a brat and stuff like that. Even me, like I'm, you know, I'm 18 now, you know, I'm an adult, but I could even look like it, it's so hard for me to just have patience with her because she's just such a brat. Like she really is. Um, my baby brother, though, he's pretty cool. Uh, he's really uh he's, he's a really cool guy he's a really cool little guy uh I, I love that man but uh yeah um apart from i get along with all of them pretty well apart from my little sister but i don't really even talk to my little sister at all to be honest like um i mostly just hang out with my um little brother and i just play with my baby brother whenever he's over my house and stuff like that so yeah but thanks for the question jesse and the last question of the video what do you think of the japan kill a kill crossover release event and do you think they'll do it for the american or uh, the region's versions of this game what the fuck is this shit that, that's actually pretty cool so i actually never have seen the anime kill a kill i heard it's pretty good but i've never seen it so i don't know any of the characters in anything i saw like the uh what is it the video talking about like all the characters and everything um I, well, I saw them like previewing all the characters they looked uh all cool like they look cool and everything like that but i know um with other games with these crossover events it's really hard sometimes to get them to other versions of the game or to the global version of the game and the reason for that is for licensing issues because i don't know if there's a kill a kill like i don't know if funimation has done a kill a kill like um thing yet uh where it's like in dub uh, english dub so there may not be a global like an actual like well quote unquote global version of kill a kill it may just be in the japanese voices you know english subtitles so you know all that stuff does make licensing a little bit harder um i do think if they want to do it they could still give it to us but i think also it would be a wiser move i feel like if they did a different crossover event for global not to say kill a kill isn't a popular um anime because it is but i feel like it's not that popular in the west compared to like other animes like i feel like they could do something else if they want to but you know we may get these kill a kill crossover units but sometimes just know that it's probably not going to be till a while a while till we get those because uh 
The licensing and all that can be a pain to do, especially whenever you're trying to transport it into a global environment and everything for like the Western audience. Yeah, it can be a pain for that. I do think we'll get it, but not for like a while, uh, more than likely. And uh, if we get it, probably expect it within like a year, maybe like a year and a half before we get the kill a kill unit. So yeah, um, but I, you know, I like their designs and stuff like that. I saw like the uh, little trailer for them. I like their designs. They seem pretty cool, but yeah and also i like this little picture you uh you had too that's pretty dope but um yeah thanks shane uh for this and oh yeah i probably didn't say your name did i i probably didn't say your name at the beginning but yeah thanks shane long 76 for that question actually i lied that wasn't the last question there is two more questions that i didn't see because i was on twitter and i was just reading it like that but while i was going back and actually getting the pictures for all of the questions i saw two more um that was there and they were there whenever i first started doing it. he was one of the first people to ask it and it just got lost in the reply so the last two questions are from i or is too unknown so he said uh how long have you been at it with youtube i have been at youtube for or i've been doing youtube for about a total of around i think three four years now um, we're technically not around three to four years, technically. I started my YouTube back in 2016, I think. No, not 2016. It was like 2014, 2015. No, uh, 2015, I think. Maybe. It may have been 2016. Maybe. Maybe 2016. Um, and I was posting Black Ops 2 videos. I was posting um, a lot of uh, Call of Duty videos. I was a really big pup stomper back in the day. And that's what I was kind of doing when I first started doing my YouTube. And uh, after that, I moved on to Destiny. Then I did that for, and then I played Destiny for about a year or two. And I was posting videos on that. Um, after Destiny, I took like a six month break or something like that. I, I literally took like a six month uh, hiatus, I guess you could say, or a break, uh, waiting on Destiny 2 to come out. And then Destiny 2 came out. Destiny 2 was a complete flop. You know, I if you like the game, you know you like it, but everybody can agree on one thing pretty much is that the game did not perform to everybody else's expectations coming off of its you know other like really popular game destiny 1 was a really popular and fun game and then you come in destiny 2 and you're like oh yeah you know bungie has a really good you know history of making their second game like really good like for example you know halo 2 and all that they have a good history about making you know their even games pretty decent so I was just like, uh, you know, Destiny 2 wasn't my thing. So at that point, I didn't really know what to do. Um, I started playing Overwatch and all that a little bit more as well. And I just kept going on with that. And um, yeah, so I've been around YouTube for probably about like two and a half, maybe three years. Um, of course, you know, I never really like took YouTube too seriously at that point at all. Um, I never really took YouTube seriously. Even to this day, I still don't really take it super serious i just more so just do this as something to do in the past time and just something to do whenever i have nothing else to do you know i just post a video talking about uh some tips or something you know a guide for a boss or whatever it may be you know uh, well that's what i do now and uh, even back then you know i was just posting youtube and just trying to do something while i was in middle school and in the beginning of high school so yeah moving on from that though the last question that is for the video the actual last question is Hey OP, I have a question. What's your favorite anime? Don't lie now, boy. So, my favorite anime is it was Dragon Ball for the longest. Dragon Ball was has, has always it will always have a place in my heart. I, I love Dragon Ball. The entire ca cast of characters for Dragon Ball is unforgettable. I would I you know I love Goku. I love Vegeta. I love all those guys. You know, Hit, freaking Frieza. I love the entire cast of Go of, you know of Dragon Ball. I, I love it. I love all of them and for the longest dragon ball was like my favorite anime like just dragon ball series in general like dragon ball uh, you know dragon ball dragon ball z let's not talk about gt um and dragon ball super you know dragon ball super i was watching that up till the end you know and the, it did end like what like a week ago um from today i literally think it ended a week ago from today so you know i enjoy dragon ball super a lot um another thing is too is says hey uh well another thing is the actual favorite anime that i love currently and it's my favorite is jojo bizarre adventures is my favorite anime that i've ever watched um i just love the anime like 
and if you want to know which part is my favorite um i'm still got to finish part three um I'm, I'm currently working on that i'm going through that but um part two really won me over like as a jojo fan like joseph joestar is the coolest jojo to this day i feel like like jotaro is cool but joseph joestar man he he always will have a place uh in my heart to be honest because that man is just a god he, he is such a cool character uh, he's just everything about him i love him and uh yeah jojo bizarre adventures is currently my favorite anime um to date you know that may change in a year or two but right now jojo is the best anime that i've ever watched so yeah so guys i wanted to record the outro by itself because i didn't like how the outro was for the other parts so that's all the questions and everything so this is the outro right here but yeah guys just one last thing you know just thank you all so much for 1k uh, it means a lot to me um sincerely like it, it's, it's actually crazy that i even got this far because i you know i and e starting youtube i never thought i would get this far you know what i'm saying so um it it's really crazy to me um on top of that too i also want to say uh that we i'm gonna keep going you know i'm gonna keep doing what i'm doing as for as long as i can on youtube uh, you know there may come a time where i can't post all the time you know but i'll try to just still keep at it for as long as i can and um the next goal the next big goal for us um is 2k 2k is the next big goal and then the even bigger goal would be you know after 2k or once i get to 5k you know the bigger goal after 5k is just um really uh 10k man that would be absurd you know but um hopefully you know we can get to 2k and all that you know with by the end of the year and everything i'm almost positive we can uh, we've been growing a lot recently so i appreciate that and i, I i'm so happy that you know you guys are enjoying my content as much as y'all are and all that so yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy the q a hopefully you know it entertained you and it was pretty cool for you to you know get to know me a little bit better and uh, see how um, or what my take is on certain things uh, about these questions and everything. So, yeah, so hopefully that enjoys this video. If I did, drop a like, comment down below. And um, I'm out, guys.